Hello everyone, this is Vertic Designs here and welcome back to a brand new video here on this channel. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you the best render sense for 1080p 60fps videos which are going to be uploaded to YouTube. This video is following on from part 1 which was the 720p 60fps. If you would like to see that video, click on the screen, there'll be either a video or a link in the description. My settings for 1080p 60fps is similar to 720p, but this time things are a little bit more different and I've changed a few things. I'm still following the YouTube recommended settings because I believe that if your bitrate is really high, it will still be edited and YouTube will obviously change the bitrate, they'll just modify your video a lot. I've done a lot of testing myself where I pretty much do videos in really high bitrate and I uploaded to YouTube then I uploaded a regular video which was a medium sort of size bitrate it actually made the one with the most bitrate struggle more because it was more pixelated and it didn't play as smooth as the other one so it just goes to show that don't go over the top with 1080p like I said in the previous video stay with a bitrate that's more suitable and not too high or too low. The first thing you want to do is just like last time get your clip and drag it in. Yours is probably already there but what you want to do is you want to right click on it go to properties and then in here you want to make sure you disable resample. For those of you that don't know what resample is it basically adds extra frames in your video to make it look smoother but since we recorded in 60 fps it will already be smooth so you really don't need that and trust me there is a difference between these two. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to see that, but it's just horrible. You don't want to use it. So disable it and press OK. Once you've done that, you want to go over to the project properties in here. Go to the video tab and to start it off, make sure that the width is 1920 and the height is 1080. Change this to 60, but you want to have this on off. Output rotation is on zero because this just rotates your video and you don't want to do that. Make sure that pixel aspect ratio is on one and field order on none. Moving on to the next thing, which is pixel format. This will be on 8-bit. For those of you wondering if 32-bit is good, it is okay. In my opinion, I've tried it, but it didn't make much of a difference. It just changed the lighting slightly and it made the file size bigger. So you might as well just have it on 8-bit. These two you can't really change, so just leave them by default. Make sure that this one is on best. Motion blur type is on Gaussian. By default it might be on one of these so just change it to Gaussian. It should be Gaussian but if it's not then make sure it is. Then this one will be on none. By default it will be on blend fields which adds extra blur to your video and I don't like that so I just turn it off. And we're back to resampling. This one will be disabled again just in case we don't want the Sony Vegas to make our video have ghosting and shadowing or extra frames. The rest of these options are up to you. You can change the location or you can start the project with these settings. Now that we've done this we want to go over to the audio tab. In here, make sure that the master bus mode is on stereo. Number of stereo buses will be on zero. Sample rate will be on 48. Make sure that it is because it's a high quality 48. Depth field, this one you just want to leave on 16 and this one just leave it on best. Now if we go back to the video tab, you can now change this and call it something like 1080p and then 60, not 620, 60 FPS and just click save. This will just make you a template so next time that you open a project or you open Sony Vegas it will open it like this or it'll have the template already saved. I've already got mine set up so all I'm gonna do is click apply and press OK. After you've done all that we are now ready to render the video. What you want to do is you want to double click anywhere on this timeline it will highlight your project and this will only render the clips that are inside the loop region. You want to go over to the top where it says file, go down to render as, wait for it to load. As you can see from my screen I've already saved all my templates and set them to my favorites but I'm gonna start from scratch just to show you what you need to do. Once you've reached this screen what you want to do is you want to scroll down to where it says main concept AVC slash AAC. This is the mp4 format which is used for internet. If you don't see this option in your Sony Vegas Pro settings, then you would want to watch a video that I made to help you get this format. Click on the screen for the video if you do not have it. If you do, then what you want to do is you want to scroll down to where it says Internet HD 1080p. 
in here, what we want to do is we want to customize the template. The very first thing we want to make sure is that the frame size is correct. So this should say 1080p 1920 by 1080. The next thing is the profile. This will be set on high. And moving on to the next one, which is frame rate. This will be on 60. You want to leave that as it is. Field order will be on none. Pixel aspect ratio will be on one. Number of reference frames will be on two. And finally, we get to the important part, which is the bit rate. And this one should be ticked on VBR. By default, the average should be on 12,000. Now, this is the easy part. All you got to do is you want to make the maximum 12 and then 0.5. So it will either stay between 12 or 12.5. If you have a fast computer that you know it can handle rendering very well and it can do it really quick, then you can tick this to way pass, which will make it a little bit higher the quality. But if you're on a slow machine, then just leave it on take because it will take a lot longer to render the video and it will make it a little bit bigger in the file size. Number of slices will be by default on four. It should automatically detect what your computer can do. So just don't mess about with that. Just leave it on what it is and leave this ticked. Next, we want to go over to the audio tab and in here, set this one to this one right here. Sample rate will be on 48,000. Bit rate will be on 384. Go back to the audio tab and in here, you pretty much want to save your template now. So let's call it something like YouTube 1080p and then 60 FPS and just press save. So next time it'll have it saved to your computer. Once you've done that, you want to press OK, but I'm going to cancel it because I've already got mine saved. But what will happen is that it will come up here. All you got to do is click on this little star. So next time it will be in this tab right here, which will be easier to find. But anyway, this has been my video and the best settings for 1080p 60 FPS. If it was a helpful video, give it a thumbs up. It shows other people that it was a good video. Leave a comment on what you think. If you have any suggestions, just let me know. I can do Sony Vegas Pro tutorials, Photoshop, After Effects, and some other tutorials which you can see on my channel. I will now let you get back to the video preview, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.